Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So today I'm going to show you some of the job description. Uh, this is from LinkedIn Jobs. So in LinkedIn Jobs also we can able to search for job and we used to get a uh, uh, message from HRs through LinkedIn as well. That is also one of the reason why I always used to say to my viewers, please uh, be live in LinkedIn and stay up to date with uh, your profile in LinkedIn. That is very much important. So casing your LinkedIn profile is that much important. So today nowadays HRs are uh, coming, uh, reaching out the employees through LinkedIn a lot than the job portals. Okay, let's, let's, I've just, uh, took some of the uh, JDs which uh, was predominantly based on uh, big data because some of the JDs will have data engineering but still they used to ask for uh, non big data tech stack as well somewhere at the corner they used to say big data so th th that kind of uh, JDs are not much needed for us from the big data perspective so I have just uh, decided to show you some of the JDs and I want to review this with you uh, so two things so first thing is like you will come to know what are all the uh, job openings that is going on. So I have decided to show you some six uh, JDs now. And the second thing, like uh, you will get a confidence of like what actually they are expecting and uh, what are all the points that we can ignore from the JD even though it is there. Okay, so these things. So these are all the main two things that which we will come to know. How to uh, review a JD and how to understand whether this is kind of a uh, matching for me to apply or not. Okay, so this is Honeywell. Uh, let's ignore the location and all those stuff. So let's come uh, to the skill set. That is what I'm going to show you uh, in all these JDs. And if you see, they were asking the first point, it's all about SQL. So they're expecting you to have the join, complex join queries and then partitions on Delta table. So it's all mainly they are focusing on SQL. That is good. Uh, it's SQL is something as a data engineer we should know. So and then the Python skill set uh, like Python along with PySpark, data frames and pandas library of Python. Uh, PySpark and uh, data frames is from Spark side. Okay, so that is something as a big data developer, I should have a, a, a core skill set. That is my core skill set, right? And I would uh, thought of someone uh, with at least one to two years of good experience of Python. So it's suffice here. Okay. So even though I'm having less than one year of experience, if you think in that way, that is completely fine. That is completely fine. So don't take this point as too serious. Okay. And then uh, Databricks experience. So third point. So data. Okay. I, I missed the third point. And understanding of the cleansing and normalizing data operation that AL and AI and ML needs as it's as a starting position. Okay, this is also highly optional. From my experience, I'm telling you, this is also a highly optional point and beneficial if they have data bricks experience. Okay, it's the 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 statement itself says that this is an optional. Data bricks is one of the. Uh, 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 big data service provider like Cloudera, Hartanox. So Databricks is also a leading vendor. So knowing uh, Databricks is just an optional. It's, they, they just mention it as a beneficial, but but end of day, uh, environment doesn't matter. That's very important to know. And beneficial Linux, yeah, if you know Linux, uh, like with all the Linux basic commands, it's highly fine. Beneficial if you have experience on uh, terraforming. Uh, this is also again a uh, optional. So these points, like the, the last three points, including the third point, it is highly optional. And uh, their job spec would be along with the lines of. So these are all some of the things like you, you have to uh, concentrate, but this is again, not much into it. It's, it's a basic qualification, but the first two point I consider as a main important point for them to focus on the uh, profile from the candidates. So don't worry about the third point, fourth, fifth and sixth point. It's it's highly optional. So this is how we have to review the uh, JD. So they, they the experience they're expecting is nine plus. For nine plus, what they're expecting is very less is what I can say. But yeah, you can you can just give a try for this. Uh, so the next thing I'm going for EPAM. Yeah, EPAM. Uh, the the title itself says Azure Data Engineer. Azure is a cloud from Microsoft. But still, uh, we have to check for the JD. So some people used to say, no, I'm not aware of Azure, and then I cannot apply for it. Don't don't do that. Okay. So first, let's go go through this JD. Apply for it talk to the HR and then you decide whether it is required or not. Sometimes they used to give a title for the JDs like that. Some cloud they will add, but still if you have the core knowledge, what is core knowledge here, big data, then that is fine. So four to nine years of IT and big data technology experience, so here four to nine years of IT experience is what they're actually focusing. That That's what I can uh, get the like a hidden message from it. So big data technologies, it could be even one year or two year. That's completely fine. It's It depends how you project to them. 
a distributed computing principal it's all of, like again yeah if you know hadouken spark then you know what is the second point is uh, expert level of experience in apache spark of course we are from this skill state background uh, proficiency with hadoop v2 version 2 map reduce hdfs and scoop of course this is also part of our thing and experience with building streaming processing uh, systems using technologies such as apache storm and spark streaming so this is something that you can consider only for 20 percentage you don't want to consider more than that so because stream use cases are very less is what from my experience i can i can tell you but even though if 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 they are not focusing yes as i told you apply for this and then the nel uh, like first level complete the first level or in the hr to the hr sometimes hr won't understand when you detailly discuss this so don't uh, uh, tell to hr just ask them to arrange an interview with the first level to so the technical panel in the technical panel you discuss this so i am not having experience in streaming is that still okay for you okay so sometime what people they do a mistake is they used to negotiate the technical stuff with hr so hr is like they used to they used to filter out the candidates only based on the what the checklist they have that is their actual job okay so some hrs they many hrs they they are not like into technical and that is not their sometimes that is not their responsible too so just make uh, tell them to uh, arrange an interview in the very first level you just talk to them whether streaming is that much important because i don't have that much experience tell them that i want to have a real time experience but i have done it for my own you can say like that for example like streaming things experience with kafka and rabbit mq this is also again um, i consider this as an uh, optional thing uh and then like good understanding in hive and impala obviously that we will have so impala is like yeah it's 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 again if you know how to work in hive then impala is easy for you and they're expecting you to have some multiple data source other than big data like rdbms or sql server oracle yeah this is these are something if you know sql you can manage with these products good understanding on sql query joins of course and no sql yeah, no sql is also highly optional okay you can see they're asking you to have a knowledge such as catchbase cassandra mongo db and that clearly states this is an optional one because at least if if some people i i i'll tell you this i will take as a chance and i will tell you in the jd if they ask only for no sql database then we can consider that as an optional one they are not using there for name checking they are asking it and second if they are giving you uh, this line experience with no sql such as hbs cassandra mongo db this is also optional one if they need a specific product of no sequel in the jd they will mention it in that way experience in hbase experience in cassandra experience experience in mongodb they used to mention the product name so they 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 generically they won't say like i need knowledge on no sequel that means they are not using for safe and side they are expecting the candidates to have it okay so let's ignore this and if you know any no sequel that's completely fine knowledge on etl technical uh, uh, techniques and frameworks it's all like dw etl theoretical terms and tuning yeah spark tuning yeah of course we do experience with azure data service like data factory and uh, data bricks etc some of the data related service which azure has that you can google it you can get some knowledge on some videos and even you can create a login and you can do some kind of basic test runs but end of day it's going to be even within azure it's going to be spark hadoop hive those things you can easily able to work on it ability to lead a team okay experience with design and implementing big data solution these are like highly optional anyway you are lead and your solution architect will take care of it and then agile methodology that's what people are working a lot but th that this doesn't even you don't have this this is completely fine and technology is what end of day they're expecting from you big data spark hadoop hive python scala and azure it's completely fine okay so this looks very decent and let's see what was the experience okay 4 to 9 okay when it is 4 to 9 like obviously like you would have get some agile information by the time so don't worry yeah so for uh, this jd is good uh, like not more than 9 plus that's how it is that this is very decent you, you can approach for such kind of jds you can approach for sure so the next company okay it's amazon fine so it's amazon uh let's come down so they are expecting you to have first point we can skip the second point hands on on sql that's yeah that's that's basically we used to have basic scripting skills using python okay that is also fine one plus year of experience as a data engineer yeah that's good they are asking only one plus year of experience in data engineering that is completely fine experiencing with data modeling data warehousing and building etl pipeline so if you work on like if you work or practicing with any of the data technologies then of course these information you will get it automatically or you can just google for some theoretical videos for this so don't uh, uh, get panic such statements when you see 
So experiencing with using big data technologies like how do okay, this is what important for us. And if you see EMR is a big data service as a like it's like EMR is by AWS. It is similar to Databricks, Cloudera, Hartanox. Uh, this EMR is also big data as a service as an infrastructure given by uh, AWS. So EMR just take only one hour for you to create an EMR cluster. And then within again within EMR, it's again Spark, Hive, Scoop, Hoopy, Goozy. You can just watch a video. I too have a video for EMR. EMR. You can just have a look on it and then you can start, you can you can even include that in, in your resume. And then since this is an AWS, they're expecting you to have some knowledge on their own data related technologies. EMR, Redshift is similar to Hive, but Redshift, it, it, it is like a, on the whole, it's like a data warehouse plus with the database. So if you know Hive, obviously you can work on Redshift or even you know MySQL, you can work on Redshift. Uh, Redshift is like, it has a flavor of PostgreSQL of RDBMS. Yeah, any SQL, even you know SQL, you can work on it. So S3 is like object store, it's similar to a HDFS that we have in Hadoop. So S3, it's something again, it's one hour, it takes time for you to see what is S3, it's completely fine. AWS Glue, Kinesis, so Kinesis is uh, something that we have Kafka, right? So similar to that, it's their own streaming uh, uh, pipeline. So Kinesis, and then Lambda. So I, I consider this as an optional thing, but out of which you can spend one hour of time to just have a refresh on EMR, Redshift, S3, Kinesis, AWS, Glue. So it, it won't take much time for you. It's all like a services which is available. Separate dedication videos are also available. You don't want to have a hands-on, but you can tell them that I'm aware of it, but I haven't worked that much on this. Then knowledge on data management. Okay, all these are like the extra blah, blah things which they are giving it. So yeah, so the you have to consider till here. This is what your actual JD is. Uh, uh, for, for considering Amazon uh, a JD, I consider this as a very easiest uh, JD as a role that I can see. But across any companies you go for sure, they will ask you from data structures and algorithm for at least 10 to 20 minutes on each round. So that is a separate track that you have to be, uh, you have to prepare it for any time. Always, you have to have that as a separate preparation. Okay, next company is TCS. Okay, so what is their JD? Oh, it's like one-liner. So minimum three plus years of experience in development of Spark and Scala. Oh, experience doesn't matter anyways. So if you go here, Hadoop ecosystem and Spark completely, they're asking. That's it, and SQL knowledge. Yeah, this is a very straightforward and easy, very easy uh, JDs. And people who have experience like, uh, yeah, okay, they're asking for three to six. Yeah, this JD is appropriate for this range of experience, obviously. So you people can easily, you can able to clear this JD. It's very straightforward. It's really good. And then it is HTC, uh, HTC Global Service. Okay, the JD is very, very, very short. It's like HQL, Spark, Hadoop, Uzi. It's very, very simple, uh, very, very uh, straightforward. Two to three years, obviously, this uh, JD is okay for them. But if you are more than five years, uh, I recommend not to apply for this. Okay. Uh, the next is from Barclays, senior database developer. That, it, but I, 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 it's like it also has big data thing. I can able to see here strong knowledge on Oracle, MySQL, any any one product and complex queries you are you are supposed to have, and then banking service. It's it's fine. Line of business, knowing line of business is not that much. Any if you go for any companies, even if you are good in technical line of business is not you are not into that much into their business. It's completely fine. Unique cell scripting, of course, it's a basic uh, skill set that we should have. Performance tuning that always comes with our blood. Any any technology you go, it always comes with your blood. So don't worry. So knowledge uh, and, and, and eager to learn new technologies like big data. Okay, they are expecting a learning interest from you for big data. Okay, that means they, they are not that much focusing on this. So any cloud experience, it could be Azure or Google Cloud or anything. Anything is fine. AWS is Google Cloud. In that case, you can pick AWS as a very easy to learn. Google GCP is also very easy to learn. So I consider this as most, like it's, it's mostly based on SQL based work. I can say, yeah, that's what the title also says, uh, database developer. You will have only 30% of scope in big data that I can say for sure. And 70% of uh, your, your, your work will be on based on SQL. So you have to think twice before entering into uh, this particular role. If you have, if you get good salary and, and you consider Barclays and if it is really, you think uh, it's good for me, then obviously you can give it a try, but the title is not a data engineer. That that one thing you have to see. So uh, across, the, we, we discussed the six JDs, right? So the main thing we always have to focus is the ecosystem, what is there with respect to big data, it's there as a point or not. 
if if for example when i say big data tech stack hive hdfs go boozy pig hbase uh, and then spark spark streaming kafka so all this if they give this as one line at least out of 10 requirement you see this as a one line still you are eligible to apply for the job and cloud so as i told you in many recent videos recent days people are expecting us to have uh, cloud knowledge also uh, because we don't know which cloud we have to learn that is very important right so people are asking me which cloud i can learn that i cannot say because i don't know what was the requirement of the company which you are attending an interview right so it is good to know aws or it is good to know google cloud so these are the top two i can always suggest uh, azure and uh, ibm cloud uh, uh, I, i'll say like next it's like third and fourth uh, rank i can say the so first two is always aws and uh, uh, google cloud you can have knowledge try to have a knowledge on these two it will very it will be very helpful for you so uh, that's all so in the next video i will try to make such kind of video at least two videos in a week or at least one videos in a week i'll i'll just review about the recent job openings in the data engineering uh, market uh, let's have the jd's review by like this let's have the jd review like this so thanks for watching and if you really like this video please do subscribe channel and forward this to your friends and colleague and please do share this in your linkedin as well i do have lot of big data videos i have shared the playlist link in the description box if you want to learn the complete big data thing you can go to that playlist which which has more than 50 plus videos where you can learn the big data entire big data course line by line thanks for watching